What about liquor? Man, celebrities make bank off them shits. Clooney, Puffy, Bethany Frankel, Jack Daniels. You're right. We should totally get in that game. Ooh, okay. Uh, what about like an internet that's just for black people? So it's just like a bunch of memes and like music blogs and local bail bondsmen. I love it. And what if there was a separate internet just for Jews? It was all forwards about Israel from my mom's side of the family. It's brilliant. What's going on with napkins? Hey man, look at us. You know, a normal person, they say it takes them three, four years to grieve. What'd it take us, three, four days? Shoot, a regular human, they'd be having a Lamar Odom Bunny Ranch style meltdown right now, not us. We're fast processors. We're the Intel Pentiums of grief. We're the Alonzos of mourning. Hit that baby boy. Honestly, ever since we weekend at Bernie Blue's urn, it's like he never left. Ooh, baby girl. I hate to poke holes in your theorem, but this is nothing like Weekend at Bernie's. You see, in Weekend at Bernie's, they took Bernie and made it seem like he was alive so they could get into parties and like start conga lines and shit. No, 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 see, if anything, this is a Wilson from Castaway situation. Ooh, my guy, I hate to correct you, but this is nothing like that. See, Wilson was always just a volleyball. He was never a human. And if you think that Lou's urn couldn't fucking start a conga line, then you're being silly, homie. Yeah, you're right. This is kind of its own thing, I guess. Yeah, it's the first of its kind. Yeah. Oh, is that a thing? Like, like a Mr. Potato Head, but for arms? Write that down. Yeah. We are fucking rolling. Ass makeup. It's makeup for your ass. I mean, the ass is super hot right now. Yeah. Think about all the surface area. I mean, the average behind it's the same size as like two faces. We're moving twice as much product. You were napkin that, you sweet ramen prince. Mm -hmm. Man, it was so smart to strip away all our distractions. Yeah, all that stuff we don't need so we can just focus on getting all that stuff back. And it is cool to see how the other half lives, you know? Can you pass the fork? Yeah. I mean, facts. Any one of these ideas on any one of these napkins could be the one that catapults us to the top. Yeah, for real, like watch this. Oh, this one's actually just a napkin, but I completely agree. Mm. Fuck! Phone died. It's nice to see how the other half charges their phones, but at some point we should definitely get our power turned on, right? Yeah. The cord cutting is so hot right now. It's being a hot right now. Is this car stolen? Because it is a straight up hoopty, bro. It's my dad's, but he never uses it. He got it as a revenge car after my mom left, but he still wait on the revenge body to fit in here. He can't fit in here? I mean, he could if you, like, remove the seats and the roof, reinforce the chassis, triple the horsepower, enlarge all the buttons, grease-proof the gear shift, and, like, if you use, like, one of those mechanical chairs they use to lower handicapped people in swimming pools, but, like, the land version. So, like, a crane. This, diamond eye. Go on. It's like the new grill, right? But instead of one of your eyes, you just got a big ass diamond. Oh yes, leftovers. Everything's coming up ZD, bro. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, I haven't figured out all the diamond eye details yet, but think about the clientele. People so rich that they can afford a giant diamond and to not see out of one eye. But who installs it, though? An optometrist or a jeweler? TBD, bro. But I do know this. The company's name will be Twinkle in Your Eye. What about reverse ketchup? Is that a thing? Tomatoes. What about a shoe that fucks you? What'd you say? A shoe that fucks you. Thank God, because I love that. You know, I loved Lou. Bless up. But this time, when we get to the top of the mountain by ourselves, it's gonna be that much sweeter. Yeah. It feels amazing to, like, stand up on our own two feet without, like, somebody's help. Mommy, is that you? Uh, no. Yo! Buddy! No way! I'm fucking so 
what's up, man? It's me, Sex Chevalier. Whoa, oh, oh, hard landing. What's up, dog? How you doing? Oh, good. Heard you guys were back in town. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah to be obviously. Seen. <laughs> Uh, cool rollerblades, dude. Would you, uh, a booze hound or something? Uh, no, more like an endorphin hound. <laughs> I'm like an exercise junkie. You know, I work out constantly, you know. And also, technically, these are not rollerblades because rollerblades is a brand. So these are Bauer brand inline skates. So that's a little food for thought. Oh, great. You turned out cool. Yeah, how, how, how are you guys doing, by the way? <laughs> Better than ever. Crushing it. Why? Well, not, you know, just because Luke died. Weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I was just really, really sorry to hear that. I know you guys were his closest friends. So it must have been hard. <laughs> sounds like, sounds like you're pretty shaken up about it. <laughs> hey, you know, the, the, the old crew and I get together every week for a poker game. We're having one tonight. You guys should come. Maybe. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Uh, first things first, we gotta get these bags of charity to Charity HQ. Oh. Yeah, we like to give away our year-old electronics. Yeah, because once you update the OS, it's like carrying a brick around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we also give away watches and cufflinks and jewelry. So. Yeah, yo, know, male tiaras, which you call TROs, but you don't know that, Playboy. Is that, uh, spaghetti in there? No. Ziti for the needy. ZD for the neediest. That's the charity, one of the charities we get to. So to clarify, yes, that bag does have some ZD in it, but the other bags are full of the aforementioned super high. <laughs> ah, damn it, my toothpaste squirts. Got a little loose toilet paper in there, too. Loose, not used. Okay. Well, listen, I, I, I hope you guys will think about coming by. Might be good to see some familiar faces, and plus my wife makes way too much food every week. So, uh, all right. Double piece. One for each of you. <laughs> yeah, peace. Stay safe. Slow down, residential. I'm so embarrassed you know, for him. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's like, have you ever even met a celeb? Bruh, like, keep in your fucking umbros, bro. Pathetic. I mean, did you hear him? Practically begging us to come over to his house so him and his boyfriends can hear what we've been up to. Uh, yeah. I think I'd rather be spending my time coming up with next-level fucking ideas than, like, letting you take instas with us while we eat all your food and, like, reminisce about our amazing lives. And, like, no offense, I'm sure your fat wife is a great cook, but, like, how great could that food possibly taste? Hey! Hey, I'm so glad you guys could make it. Yeah, we brought an Xbox One X. I didn't have to bring anything. It's not for keeps, man. It's for when we get bored. <laughs> bored? <laughs> hey, yo, Zach, man. You straight love this kind of carpeting, yeah. huh? It was a fight, but I won. Ooh, no, you didn't. Sup, boys? Oh, dang. Hey. <laughs> if it isn't the homies. Yeah, man. Dave. Dan. Dan, flu -voo, right? No. What up, dude? William. Oh, William Flu. No. Who is Flu? All right, Bill. Well, I want to be honest with you. <laughs> I am not recognizing a single feature of your face, dog. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Listen, the um, wine fridge is over there. Beer fridge is over there. Help yourselves. Damn. Seems like Big Refrigerator really got their talons in you, huh, Chevalier? <laughs> no, no. There, there are many fridges. I know. I was saying like the lobbyists who work on behalf of the refrigerator industry. <laughs> Didn't know they had lobbyists. <laughs> they don't. It's a joke. Ah. Don't you like jokes, man? Lighten up, bro. Uh, huh. It's a joke. No, I get it now. <laughs> that is good. Uh, actually, another good one uh, that I know is about, uh, it's a church. Are we going to play? And a, um, yeah. Yes. I call. You know what this reminds me of? Molly's Game. Oh, like the movie? I uh, know, Bill. We actually participated in the real Molly's Underground Game Night. Yeah, with many other celebrities. That game was like mad illegal. So there's all these A-list celebrities there that they didn't even get named. Yup, such as DiCaprio, Lovato, DeVito, DeGeneres. I don't know 
half of those <laughs> names. <laughs> Once you have a family, it's like the only famous people you know anymore are the ones in Toy Story. True. <laughs> Isabella loves Toy Story. That's oh, great. Oh. God, Rachel too. Didn't uh, didn't we see that with you guys? Was it three or two? Uh, it was three. The theater ran out of popcorn. I'll remind you. Oh, Completely gone. Oh. No popcorn. Well, it was well, crazy. <laughs> uh, speaking of crazy stories. Uh, this one time, Lou was doing this print thing for Gucci, and there's a bunch of miles there, right? And so needless to say, the whole thing devolved into an absolute... Hey, Daddy, but, can I show mm. everyone my soccer trophy? Yes, of uh, course. Go ahead. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Your dad was about to hear a real fun story about a genuine F-U-C-K fest, so you think you could maybe run upstairs? Homemade make seven-layer lasagna, anyone? Oh, I'll get yeah. that. Yeah. Or, oh, oh, okay. Why don't I just put that down first? You guys remember Marissa, right? my wife? She was on the volleyball team. Mm -hmm. Hey, Marissa, what are you going to pair this with? What's that varietal I love so much? Uh, Barolo. Barolo. Yo, Marissa, can you pair this with a beautiful Barolo? Because that would really make this shit sing like an umami explosion. So anyway, we was at that Gucci shoe, right? Oh. And, uh... <laughs> And Ronnie brings Molly to the set. And this is the same Molly from the from before, from the poker game. No, Bill! The fucking drug! Fuck! So anyway, we was fucking Rowdy rolling our faces <laughs> off, right? <laughs> and one of them girls was like, oh, why don't we go buy new cars and we can fuck on the test drive? <laughs> okay, hey, why don't you take her upstairs and get a little crazy down cool. here? Anyway, so glad to see you guys out and about. I know when my friend died, I couldn't even leave the house. It's because you're weak, Marissa. We're fine. Marissa's right. I mean, loss hits different people in different ways. I know when I lost my sister, it took years for me to cope with it. And if I'm being honest, still coping. So anyway, <clears throat> we was at this uh, Maserati dealership, right? <laughs> well, you know the and saying that it's better to have had and lost than to, in my case, never have had a sister at all. So. That's right. Look, if you guys need someone to speak to, my wife is a grief counselor. She is the best in town. That's a great idea. And I, and I don't know what your current living situation is, but we just redid our guest room. I would be honored. We're <laughs> fucking fine, okay? What part of this dope-ass story where we fucked our way through a bunch of Gucci models do y'all not want to hear? I fucking refuse to sit here and eat some fucking lasagna whilst being condescended to by a bunch of fucking townies! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! What dicks? Pull! I missed. You missed. Didn't you believe those motherfuckers? Loss can be tough. My wife is a grievance counselor. Oh, fuck you! Those white turds were trying to gaslight us into thinking that we're not okay. Pull. Missed. Missed. Congratulations, pal. You don't have to watch TV on your phone. You have a bunch of different sized fridges. And you have a, apparently a very specific brand of inline skate. And still living friends. Plus a wife who perfectly matches sex appeal with John and Vinny level cooking ability. Big whoop. Pull. Seems like I'm getting further away, right? Well, I got news for you, Chevalier. That perfect wife of yours has got a secret. Oh, yeah. She's fucking that Bill guy. What? Man, no. There's no way she made this lasagna herself. It's way past home cook level. She doubt fired us. Dollars to donuts. If you check their trash can, you're going to find takeout containers. I guarantee it. Did you say doubt fired us? Yeah, she man. Mrs. Doubt fired us. You know, Robin Williams burns the dinner. So he goes and gets restaurant food and places to make it look like he cooked it himself. It's the ultimate deception. I'm just trying to get on your level. You believe the ultimate deception in the movie Mrs. Doubtfire is when Robin Williams passes off restaurant food as his own? 100%. Alfonso, in the movie Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams tricks his three children and his ex-wife into believing that he is an older British woman. And he does so with a minimal budget and a horrendously cheesy English accent. Yeah, but he gets caught for that. He doesn't get caught for the food thing. Anyway, there seems to be this developing narrative going around town that, like, since Lou died, you know, we're, like, n not doing well or whatever. What? Huh. They think that they're doing better than us? They think that we're surviving and not thriving? 
uh, sounds like we got a case of the bitch ass haters. Those motherfuckers think that they're better than us. Huh, than the two of us. Ronnie and Alf. These guys. Us. <laughs> Hot take. Are these motherfuckers doing better than us? No. We're doing great, buddy. By the way, good call on going head to toe. I'm freaking freezing. So maybe they're doing like a hair better than us now. But future us? You won't even be able to compare. We're gonna have so much money. Yeah, and my future wife, probably Courtney. We're gonna be so in love. It's always cuddling in bed and kissing with our eyes open and leaving little love notes to each other and fog in the mirrors in the bathroom. Yeah. And we're gonna buy shit too. Cause we got so much money. We buy whatever we want. Like TVs and fucking Apple TVs. And like six kids. Man, I'm talking about like stuff. Why, where, where are you going? Uh, not because. Like, uh, did you read that New York Times article about how kids are the ultimate accessory because like how expensive school is nowadays? So you know, you're like, oh man, look how many mouths I got to feed. Motherfucker, I'm balling. Yeah, then I probably need like 19 kids. Fuck yeah, man. You know, I can't wait for future us. Hey, Ralph, what if we didn't have to? Listening. Okay, so, future us is gonna be so rich. Oh, given. But we will also be generous. Oh yeah, like a couple of Melinda and Bill Gates. So, who would future us wanna give our charity to other than the people we love most in the world? Now us. I like the way you think, dog. <laughs> Do you take American Express? No, 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 please. I got this. Bitch! Bitch! are you sure we can afford all this oh 45 grand it's a drop in the bucket for future us. Rich people do this all the time. It's not debt. It's investing in ourselves. Yeah, so if we didn't buy this cream sectional, we'd be saying that we don't believe in ourselves. Exactly. And once you have a cream sectional, you need a TV you can see from every cream corner of your cream sectional. And now you're in a real give a mouse a cookie scenario, which leads us logically to a skateboard shelf. Yeah, and once you've got a skateboard shelf, you've established an amount of whimsy that if you don't carry through for the entire apartment, seems <laughs> insane. Which is why we bought these scepters. And whimsy is a design philosophy that basically becomes an umbrella for... Dueling popcorn machines. Dueling cowhide rugs. And dueling soundbars. I mean, dueling is also its own design philosophy, as is singular, which explains the solo poker table. And now all we gotta do is find people to play at said poker table, I guess? Yeah, I mean, we're basically forced to invite people, but who? Hmm. Back of my brain. Call me crazy. I'm having a real change of heart about those fucking shitheads from the other day. You know, me too. And isn't it the right thing to do to extend an olive branch to those kind of sending pricks and give them a chance to apologize? Yes, but not because we want them to see how well we're doing or to squash any sort of narrative that since Lou died, maybe we're not doing okay. No, we're just trying to be neighborly. Is that my poker crew? What's up? What up, Chevalier? <laughs> Blue Blue Brothers, how y'all doing? Not, not Blue brothers. Blue. Hey, so Zach, I want to be totally honest with you right at the top. We don't have one of those fancy fridges like you have at your house. We got three of them. <laughs> but who's keeping track? It's like, you are. That's right, Trick. Um, hey, ab about the other night. I accept your apology. Oh, no, what I think you meant. Heads up, Flu Blue. <laughs> Shrimp's up, bitch. Coming at you, Chavaye. Oh, pick six on that shrimp, dog. Uh, no, actually, I I'm good. I don't, I don't need shellfish. <laughs> yeah, baby. This one's for your mama. No, thanks. I'm good. Uh, no, look. Thank you. I actually am 
kind of actually mildly allergic yeah, to it, baby. so it's not something. Well, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. It's all really, right, please. No, you are very accurate. Eat one. Skyhook, bitch. Hey, if it makes you feel any better. They say shrimp don't have genitals, so whatever hit your face was just all shrimp body. Wow, you guys uh, have a hibachi table. You don't see that every day. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Trick. Do the math. These things paid themselves in like three Shogun dinners. Anyway, Ryan's gonna give you the rest of the tour while I whip up some more of these homemade snacks. <laughs> I checked this out. This place was originally painted taupe, but we were like, give us that beige. <laughs> has in his entire house, bringing the grand total of viewing to about 620 inches, give or take a square foot. And uh, that's pretty much the crib. This place is amazing. It's like whimsical. <laughs> Which one of you lives here? What? Woof. All right, fellas, be very careful with these. They're very, very fresh. Homemade. And enough about us, you know, I'm starting to get embarrassed. Let's play some fucking poker, boys. Man, do it. All right. White chips are 1K, green chips are 5K, and red chips are 10K. <laughs> we usually just do like a $20 buy-in. Once I lose my 20, I just go home to the family and I call it a night. Yeah, Bill, we get it. You're loved. All in, blind. All in, and I fold. I also fold. Wait. Well, you went all in, but then you folded? Too rich for your blood, Chevalier? Confused? <laughs> Can't follow our game? You don't know what we're gonna do next. That's because we don't know what we're gonna do next. <laughs> yeah, Il Lou taught us that. And holy shit, do people lose their minds every time. I'm sorry, who is this Lou that you guys keep mentioning? The fuck you just say to me? Who is Lou? Hey guys, maybe we should just play. Yeah, let's just play. But I got a friend coming. Hey, Bill, I want to introduce you to Lou and deal him in. OK, maybe we should just uh, put a movie on or I don't think you guys are in the right headspace for poker. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's play a real man's game. High card. But let's up the ante. Play for assets. Starting with these TVs. I don't want to do that. Of course you don't, Dan. You never want to do anything fun. You're boring, dog. Come on, guys, we're all friends. Who are you, a mediator now? Maybe you should have mediated yourself some more girls in high school. Instead, they ignored you because that weird-ass belly birth mark. Nobody wanted to swim with your ass, Zach. <laughs> your body made people sad. Those are scars from a botched appendectomy. Good for you. Not good for me. It was really bad for me. And I thought this was a friendly game, all right? N none of us want to pet our TVs. Why? Because there's some sort of narrative going around town that since Lou died, we're not doing well? And we can't afford to gamble TVs? Because newsflash, we can! OK, well, I, I can't. Fine, fuck it. I'll make you a deal. Let's bet one of these fine TVs up against that basic ass tri blend sweatshirt you're wearing. OK, look, it's getting a little out of hand. I'll take that deal. Oh, oh shit! Look Bill. at your boy. Look My fucking Bill. Your boy. Let's do it, Bill. You get first card, because I'm a fucking gentleman, Bill. You can have the first card. King, not good. Two, damn it! All right, let's go again. <laughs> we got TVs for days. That's a three for Bill. Uh-uh. Uh-oh, Bill. Sorry, Bill. Billy boy, have you ever heard the parable about the scorpion and the... Two again? What the yeah. fuck? Oh, okay, give me those. Let's go. Boom, seven, boom, five, shit. Okay, eight, eight. We tied now. The tide is turning. Four. Two. Who shuffled these? OK, Bill, I will bet you this fucking shuffling machine, which clearly does not work right, against your cool ass mascot glasses. All right. Here we go. Ace. Fuck! Two. <laughs> How is this happening? Okay, give it to me again. Cow skin rug against those elusive glasses. Wow, way these guys are good. We don't have to. All right, uh, finish jukebox versus the glasses. Yikes! Microwave. God dang it, the Soda Stream Plus. 
Fuck you! I want you to die! Tag me in, big fella. I ain't leaving here tonight without those beautiful tortoise shell glasses. So here, what in the? At least we still have a loo. We're losers. And now we're losers who are 70,000 in the hole. 20K against a pair of Tevas was just reckless. What are we gonna do with our lives? Who even are we without Lou? I mean, there's nothing left for us here. Even Courtney, the love of my life. You haven't mentioned her name in 15 years. I want you to know that. She won't even text me back. Uh, the only text I get are from my dad. He signs off every one with love, dad. So what now? Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to finally accept it. Things are never gonna be the same again. Exactly. They're gonna be so much fucking better. Exactly. Because when we were looking at those pictures of us and Lou, What's up? I came up with the idea to end all ideas. You remember how we were the Alonzos of mourning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna take that and turn ourselves into the Lonzos of bawling. We are going to write a tribute song. Oh, shit. We're about to puff day the loss of our friend, aren't we? Think about it. Grievance songs always top the charts, and the people that write them, they never have to worry about money again. I'll be missing you. Crossroads. Tears in heaven, candle in the wind. Can the win part do? That song about Paul Walker after he wraps his Porsche around that tree? Bro, this idea is fucking genius. What's that? What's that now? Lou approves. My dog. The ticket to Future Us is a bereavement track. My dude, I am so fucking hyped about this idea. Let's fucking get going. Let's fucking write this track right now. Oh, shit. Here we go. Welcome to the show, boys. Are we still doing this comeback? Like, together? Getting back to the top? Oh, of course, man. It's been a rough week. Hey, it's been a rough few weeks. Holy crap! Is that a supreme brick? Don't look at me! <laughs> that went just about as well as it possibly could have. Get your ass out there, and you fight for that life that you want. I had to come back for my boy. Boom! All right, so let's get this show on the road. Look out. Oh, shit. Please subscribe so you can see more by clicking right here. <laughs>